The Cube at EMC World 2014 is brought to you by EMC. Redefine. VCE. Innovating the world's first converged infrastructure solution for private cloud computing. Brocade. Say goodbye to the status quo and hello to Brocade. Hello everybody and welcome back. We're here on theCUBE live here at EMC World 2014 in lovely Las Vegas. Here on theCUBE with me this afternoon, we have a, a CUBE alum, Bill Reed from EMC IT. Bill, welcome back. Thank you so much. And we also have um, uh, a, uh, e uh, I'm sorry, uh, VMware Bob Goldsand, Bob Goldsand, staff partner from VMware. Bob, first time on theCUBE, but welcome. Thanks first for joining thank us. Thank you very much. Well, we like to talk a little bit about the fact that uh, EMC both as, uh, um, you know, is, is the vendor here, but also from a practitioner standpoint, Bill, you work in the IT shop. I do. Right? So, uh, you know, you can lend a lot of insight to a lot of things that we're doing. This morning we, re uh, we heard you guys released a press release on SAP HANA, virtualized on SAP HANA. That's right. Tell us a little bit about the release and kind of what we should be thinking about. Sure. It's the, the announcement is exactly as you described, uh, production support from SAP, joint venture with uh, VMware and SAP about production support for SAP HANA on a vSphere platform. And I think that if you look back over the past decade of virtualization that I'll speak for myself and EMC IT, this was really the, the next step in that evolution. We had virtualized our data centers. Uh, we've been live in SAP for just shy of two years now in a fully 100% virtual stack, but SAP HANA was that side outlier that we weren't virtualized on. It was our clients. And uh, about six months ago, we really, actually about a year ago, we had been starting down the journey about saying, well, why can't we virtualize HANA? So at that point, we had reached out with our VMware colleagues. They were working with SAP about saying, let's push this, let's be the industry leaders, let's do what we've been doing for the past decade, take all of those lessons learned and best practices to taking those workloads and apply it to SAP HANA as well, to get the same business value the flexibility, the ease of deployment, et cetera, that we've been seeing on a, on a virtualized environment. Great, Bob, can you tell us a little bit about what you're seeing from not only EMC, but other customers? Watch my... They were looking to SAP HANA and why they wanted it virtualized and what it may, might have been some of the driving factors? Yeah, it's, it's been a, quite a long journey, should I say. And, and we use that vernacular often in, at VMware. And uh, we started off about two years ago doing some initial performance evaluation. And first and foremost, we wanted to prove to SAP as well as our customers that there was really no performance, very little performance impact when virtualizing HANA. And we proved that without a doubt over two years of, two plus years of, of testing, um, as well as during these te during this, this time, we also did a number of functional tests. We wanted the customers to understand that there was no functional tests associated with virtualiz virtualization either. And, uh, a lot of customer feedback to SAP, a lot of customer feedback to us saying that HANA really needs to be virtualized right. to, uh, uh, to take off. And, and we've, we're hearing that, uh, obviously EMC has been great, a, a great partner with us. They were very vocal in that respect. And uh, we also, in part of our press release, uh, Mercedes Daimler also went live on virtual, virtualized HANA excellent re reference, ex excellent use case. So the response has been great. Really, uh, really pleased, and as I say, it's been a long time coming. Very good, so uh, Bill, just in your infrastructure, tell me a little bit about, if you look at the overall stack, you've got obviously EMC products and technology, VMware products and technology, SAP HANA, can you give us kind of a picture of, of the stack, maybe the size, kind of some of the things you're doing to with SAP HANA? Yeah, it, going back to our, our initial go live, which was July of 2012, we had deployed in a production landscape, it's about 80 virtual machines supporting our SAP landscape. Um, we've got a very large ECC instance supporting the ERP core components from SAP, of course. We've got SRM, we've got FSCM, a lot of the SAP classic ERP modules. The entire span of that infrastructure spans across two data centers. Essentially, we built it out on a production V-block in uh, the, the Boston area, and in North Carolina, we have a non-production data center where all of our DR, dev, test landscapes are built out. All told, it's over 500 virtual machines supporting about 10 SAP landscapes. So it's a massive, massive amount of infrastructure supporting that. To have that outlier of SAP HANA adding the business value, but still not being able to manage it in the same way was really the ultimate goal of how we were trying to grow forward and saying, 
we've got to do this too. We've got to give that same agility. We've got to be able to provision new landscapes, new la new environments to add that business uh, business value going forward. Very good. So can you tell us even uh, a little bit more about other applications that you have running on top of SAP HANA that, that clients are utilizing and then kind of tying into? We had an upgrade planned for last year around the, the SAP BPC, uh, Business Plannings and Consolidations. When we went live, SAP had come out with a new version. It was a little bit too risky for our initial go live, so we said let's postpone that for about a year. We'll go through that upgrade the following year. About that same time is when we had been engaged with VMware, and the VMware team had been working in the labs with SAP saying we can virtualize this. So we, we took advantage really of an opportunity that was somewhat unique in that we had a convergence of an upgrade, a desire from the business for more performance, and an opportunity to, to prototype some of this SAP HANA on a virtual infrastructure stack. And what we did is we built out two instances. We built out one that was on the traditional OLTP data store, and we built out one that was on SAP HANA. We gave our end users the application and we said test it on environment one, test it on environment two, and give us the feedback of which one you like. They obviously went with B. Um, we were seeing performance of you know, three, four hundred times faster on the end memory compute, as we would expect. And that really drove us to say, we're not yet certified, and this was really late, late last year, it was, it was October to November that we were doing this work, where we actually went live in November on that virtualized stack, prior to SAP saying, you're really, you're out there. We knew we could support it. We knew we had VMware at our back and we had VMware engineering to support everything that we were doing. So we felt very comfortable. A, we're giving the business value. B, we've got the right support in line and we've got the right expertise on a virtual landscape that we should be doing this. Very good. So Bob, can you give us a little bit of insight? Now, SAP obviously, uh, SAP, uh, EMC obviously is a very large customer, right? You guys have thousands of customers, hundreds, tens of thousands of customers. Um, what kind of advice would you be giving practitioners as they start to look down this, uh, you know, hey, I want, I want to start to do this. What types of things should they be thinking about first so that they, you know, kind of have a successful run? Well, first of all, I, SAP HANA is, an, is a it's great product and it, it delivers on much of the promises, you know, around uh, speed and agility. And uh, over these past two years, what we've learned in virtualizing HANA is it much, many of the best practices associated with virtualizing databases that our customers are familiar with can directly be applied to HANA. So there should be no, no fear in, in associated with virtualizing HANA. Just follow those best practices. Today, in conjunction with the press release, we released a fairly substantial best practices document. And it goes through uh, all, the, all, the, all, all of the best practices on how you should deploy HANA. And at the end, I mean, it is a fa fairly substantial, substantial document, but at the end, we include a checklist so that you can go through this checklist to make sure, yeah, I've done everything I should have done and I should expect you know, unparalleled performance, availability, and, re and reliability when deploying on vSphere. So I guess the advice I would say is there, sh there shouldn't be any fear in, in virtualizing on it. It's a solid technology, VMware is a solid technology as well, very mature, and again, many of the, the best practices that our customers are familiar with when virtualizing mission critical databases directly are applicable to HANA. I think that's some really good advice. I think there's a lot of fear and uncertainty when you're going on to look at a new project, right? The fact that one, you guys have documented it, and I'm sure, you know, through through experiences with guys like EMC, yeah. you learn a lot, putting those into best practices and then being able to educate customers so they can kind of take that leap of faith, so to speak, and not be too afraid is really good. So yeah. from a from a uh, CapEx and OpEx perspective, can you give us a little bit of, you know, have, what have you seen that's been, that by, by being able to virtualize SAP HANA, how's that really impacting the organization? Yeah, if you look at the traditional model that SAP had come out with for, the, for, for, for SAP HANA, you have a fairly expensive license to get you in the door based on the size of the memory that you're going to be running, the application, the, the, the amount of you know, the terabytes of memory that you're buying, and then you've got to go buy an appliance. So if you look at that, and then you think about the utilization, there's a fairly substantial CapEx opportunity that, that you can invest in right just there, getting right. into the entry, just to get you in the door. We looked at that as saying, we've got these V-blocks with capacity, these clouds of capacity with compute, network, and storage. Why can't we leverage that same principle that we've been doing for the rest of the SAP stack and carve out a HANA instance in the same? So that was the, the, the CapEx reduction, if you will. We still have a physical appliance that we deployed a couple of years ago. That was uh, about 18 months ago now. That was part of our initial SAP Go Live. Moving forward, we want to use the cloud that we've got. We want to be able to carve up new HANA instances. And what we've been doing since then 
is we've been spending a lot of time on automating that build. We have the ability right now through some of the VMware VCO tool sets to build and deploy a new HANA instance through push button automation in hours, minutes, really essentially compared to taking a week or two of installing an appliance, configuring it, installing the binaries, and then figuring out how you're going to partition it after that. That automation obviously touches Leads the OpEx. Into your optics Absolutely side, yeah. huge yeah. savings in OpEx as you go forward. Right. Automate and repeat. Standardize, automate, and repeat. So Bob, uh, from, a, from a monitoring perspective within VMware, you had talked a little bit about the fact that deploying SAP HANAs, you know, you, 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 excuse me, you utilize some of the best practices that you do today with databases. Anything special inside of VMware for doing any special monitoring today, uh, helping folks get, get an understanding, both from a deployment and an overall monitoring perspective? Uh, currently, th there isn't, I mean, we were focused on on uh, performance, you know, make, make, make sure that- Which is were, key. <laughs> that, that performance was key, yeah. Especially with, you know, an in-memory database that has a large memory footprint and, uh, you know, there was some skepticism as to could we really virtualize these type of, of applications and we proved without a doubt we could. But in the future, as we um, um, make deeper integrations to our operations suite, we are looking at, at at specifically monitoring at all levels, so that we can provide monitoring from the virtualization layer, the storage layer, the application tier, as well as the, the database tier, and percolating those, those findings up to dashboards where you can do correlations and determine, well, you know, what's, how's my uh, you know, HANA database is performing, when should I look at, at uh, um, you know, uh, providing more storage, provisioning more compute resources, Things of that nature. So really, you know, an end-to-end -end performance techniques and, and also correlation techniques, so that it, it isn't just a virtualization layer uh, that you're looking at. It's not just the storage layer you're looking at. It's the entire stack. So Bob, just a, a little bit of a segue here. So first time on the cube. How, how, how many times have you been to EMC World? Um, I used to work for EMC, so when, when I did, I, I was here quite often. I haven't been here in about. Uh, two years. Yeah, two years. Great, great to be back. Yeah. So, back. give us a little insight. Uh, I know this announcement for you guys today was pretty big, so I'm sure there's a lot of focus going on around that. But uh, what else have you heard about the show that's exciting to to VMware in particular? Well, uh, a lot of the uh, the uh, activity around vSAN and uh, uh, the certification of of the EMC storage around uh, Hana, which which you know. I hate to have a one-track mind, but that's that's. <laughs> well, hey, you know, where I know it's probably a curveball, but I'm sure you've been, yeah. you know, pretty busy trying to get that ready and make sure it was ready for the show. So. Yeah. So, the, so, uh, and that's huge. And they use this uh, deployment model called, called Tailored Data Center Integration, which is essentially SAP opening up the storage layer to uh, um, to customers so they can le leverage your existing infrastructure. So it was, it's it's absolutely key that VMware is part of those, that certified storage, which they are for all their, their, uh, their, their, their current storage. So it's, it's great, um, so our joint customers can enjoy deploying HANA virtualized on this model. Great, thanks, and uh, so, you know, in, you know, industry, uh, Cube, Cube alum, as we, as we say before, yep. so again, I know you've been doing a lot of work trying getting ready for this announcement. Yeah. What, what have you seen here that's been pretty exciting? I, I think just having the, the entire EMC Federation here in one room, um, talking about it yesterday with, the, with David talking about the new product enhancements with Viper and the, the Extreme family, having uh, Paul and uh, Pat today talking a little bit more around the software-defined data center, um, I actually just did a presentation just before now about how we're implementing the software-defined data center using the technologies of virtualization and automation and the benefits herein. And that really is a, is a continuation of the discussion that we've been having here for the last 20 or 30 minutes around virtualizing SAP and all of the components included, including SAP HANA. In I have to say, I've been pretty impressed. One of the things that kind of grabbed my attention, I, I too used to work for EMC, <laughs> and uh, you know, so I probably haven't been to the last couple, but uh, hearing about all the openness, yeah. right, and how EMC has really kind of yeah. opened its doors, and, and, and including VMware and kind of the sharing and, and uh, along with a lot of the announcements and helping customers, we've had a lot of end user customers on theCUBE talking about how they seem to feel like they have a lot more flexibility these days, and with applications that are being ported, you know, such as SAP HANA mm -hmm. onto, they have a lot more choice now. 
And uh, and I think that's one of the things that, I mean, you know, this year is almost 15,000 people here and you don't get 15,000 customers without providing choice and the ability to, that's you know, right. both best of breed, but, but freedom of choice. So I think that's pretty interesting. So I uh, want to say thank you very much, uh, both Bill and Bob. Uh, we're here on theCUBE. Uh, we'll be back here uh, live right after, uh, right after uh, these messages.